Number nine, we really wish this guy well, but some financial advisors say he's doing things all wrong. 31-year-old Edwin Castro won the Powerball in California last year and took the lump sum payment, $628 million after taxes, right? right? Well, he just bought a $47 million mansion in Bel Air, and he recently bought two other estates in California, one for $25 million, another for $4 million. Also has a vintage Porsche that cost $225,000 that he's been seen driving to and from the bank. But financial planners say he is making mistakes. They point out that everything he's buying is depreciating in value. The houses can cost about a million dollars a year in upkeep alone. Even if they're investments, they're unlikely to increase in value. They say when you come into that kind of money, it's better to collect the money through annual payments. Well, and don't make any big purchases or life changes for a while until you have a plan. Has anyone not taken the lump sum? No, because you don't, I mean, you're gonna. You want everything at once. You want it because yeah. the, you, what if you, you get hit by a bus tomorrow, yeah. then you don't see any of the rest of the money, but have a plan is probably a good idea. Sure. Yeah. I don't know, live your life. Let it rip. Right? Yeah, more power to you. Uh, number eight, get ready. It's Fat Bear Week is coming. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's sweet. the annual tournament run by Cat Bay National uh, Parks in uh, Brooks Falls, Alaska. Uh, it officially kicks off on October 4th. It features matchups between uh, the chunkiest uh, bears as they bulk up for the winter. Voting will be open to the public. All you have to do is pick your favorite fat bear and hope for the best. Uh, the bears at the Cat Bay are some of the largest in the world. They can get up to anywhere between 1,000 and 1,400 pounds. We'll do live check-ins starting next week. But boy, this is fun. Can you tell them how? Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Their personalities yeah. are all different. Number seven, now it's not even October yet, but let's start thinking about Advent calendars. Holidays will be here before you know it. Don't want to miss out on the cutest one. So here's a look at the 2023 version from Beekman 1802. It's called Slice of Kindness. Uh, Beekman 1802 is known for skin care, soaps yeah. and lotions made with goat milk that is bright and sunny, looks wow. similar to a cake. Each little drawer is filled with a special beauty themed ah. gift. It is $175, a little pricey. Well but a small price to pay for 24 days of happiness. Yeah, and this is what Advent is all about, <laughs> right? Like Keeping lip up glosses. With your yes. and, right. Yeah, if you're not doing that, you're not really celebrating Jesus. That's right. no. <laughs> the way I see it. Yep. <laughs> but again, teach to his, yeah. his own or whatever. Uh, number six, people are always trying to find a good place to hang their purse. You don't want to put it on the floor, especially if you're in like a public bath bathroom without a hook. But this company, Bagnet, has come up with a magnet for your purse. Oh, geez, look at that. Look, that's trouble. So what you do is you clip it into your bag and it magnetically hangs into the restrooms or the bar stools at the office. You can find a place for it. It weighs only a few ounces, but its creators say it can hold some really heavy bags. Here's the best part. They have some Halloween themed ones that are now available. Everyone loves Halloween. Creative. Wow. They're playing stuck on you by uh, Richie. Nah, that's clever. That's clever, it's right. All right, number five. Chances are you're not looking for tiny pet furniture, but if you are, you will think you're having a fever dream. Check out the stuff we found for bearded dragons. Mm. Tiny couches, beds, little sleeping bags. Oh, Whoa. adorable. Look at this. Woo. Swim floaties. Oh, between Etsy and Amazon, you'll find just about anything for your bearded dragon. Yeah, that Etsy. <laughs> mm. Number four, check this out. It's a tiniest instant camera. This is from Fuji Film. It's about oh, the size of a great. ping pong ball. Uh, so you can hold it in the palm of your hand, hang it around your neck or in your pocket. So how they do it, they split it in half. This little device is only the camera. Two inches tall, less than two inches tall, but has the same ability as most standard-sized instant cameras. 
Uh, and you can just link it up right to the printer. You can just print uh, pictures later at home, or you can bring the printer with you oh. and simply print uh, images out immediately. Yeah, that's convenient. And the whole bundle will cost <laughs> about 200 bucks. I always want to bring your printer with you everywhere yes. you go. <laughs> yes, just you in case you're like, oh, I really want yep. to. Right. First date, just have one yeah. there at the table at yeah. the restaurant. Yeah. Mm. All right, number three. I'd like to take a second to give a shout out to my girl, Joan Collins. More like Grand Dame Icon. 90 years old, and she insists that she's never once had plastic surgery. Collins admits she's tried Botox in the past, but found it too painful. She says, I've had nothing done. I couldn't do all that. She says, I'm needle phobic, and adds her mother taught her to use moisturizer and night cream from a very early age, which is great advice, because she looks... Yeah. For 90, you know. She looks great. Uh, yeah, yeah. She's yeah, for 90. 90. Yeah, for 90. You know? Fabulous, yeah. You know, I've never had anything done either. I don't know about do the rest do of you guys. people ask you? Uh, a lot of the time. They're like, how are you doing this? And I don't do Botox. I don't do Nothing. any of that. No lifts, none of it. But just, you know, uh, our makeup artist, you know, Ingrid, Every time she works on me, she says, Paul, you have the best skin yeah. of everybody. You don't do anything you moisturize? I'm not, I'm not even moisturizing. To be yeah. fair, Ingrid has said that to me and to Larry and she's to everyone She's a liar, as well. though. <laughs> she's an own liar, right? She's, she's, she's usually to... honest with me. She likes to pump us up before the yes, show starts. she right. really does. Well, for you guys, that's <laughs> right. But she, to she, me, for you, she's... it's fact. Right. Yeah, it's just I fact. mean, just look at the... I can look at the mirror and see it. <laughs> right. Right, whereas yeah. you guys have to suspend your imagination and do all this other stuff. And then literally when I'm in there, there, which I don't go in there anymore, but yeah. I'm in there for five seconds. There's some people in here who are in that makeup chair for a half an hour, like yeah. they're doing some kind of kabuki theater work some or something. Some of us it's, need a lot more work. Yeah. You know, it takes a village for some yeah. of us to happen. You're, so, you've been blessed. Uh, Liz, yeah. All right, enough about me. I apologize. <laughs> no, I didn't mean okay. to go off on that tangent, yeah. but all right. sometimes I just want, I'm, there's some people that are moderately attractive out there that just needed some encouragement. <laughs> that you don't have to do it all. No. All right. Number two, uh, you probably never realized how beautiful moths are. Uh, look at these beautiful moths. This is from renowned photographer Emmett Gown. Mm. He started loving moths when he saw some great ones 20 years ago in Ecuador. Went on to photograph more than 1,000 species of moths oh, in Bolivia, fun. Brazil, Ecuador, Panama. Uh, now these are in a book called yeah. Mary Posas Nocturnas. Oh, what that amazes mean? people who uh, study insects, he was able to take all these photos while the moths were alive. Wow. Um, instead of killing them and then photographing them, yeah. it's you know, obviously very hard to uh, catch them. Yeah, and ask them um, to turn to get their best angle. I don't understand how the you know the butterflies get the great press, the moths get the bad press. Yeah. They're, they're basically the same thing. Right. Well, now, now, well, the moths I know aren't aren't pretty enough. Thing. And we've got that spotted lantern fly that's made its yeah. way around. Yeah. It's yeah. making it's headlines. Getting bad see press. Yeah. yeah, from China, and they're invasive, and you got to get rid of them. Yeah, kill them. All right, number one, more Japanese game shows. These are All highlights right. from two shows. The first one is from AK Bingo, which puts the stars of a girl group through some quizzes and challenges. The second clip you'll see is self-explanatory. It's called Look, What's in the these Box. These are so good, Take a man. Team 8 Oda, Nengan no Ikizumo ni Hakchousen. Oda san ni Koroi o butchikomi tai to omaimasu. Oh, oh. で、こう、こう、こう、こう、こう、こう、こう、こう、こう、こう、こう、こう、こう、こう、こう、こう、こう、こう、こう、こう、こう、こう、こう、こう、こう、こう、こう、こう、こう、こう、こう、こう、こう